Okay, we're going to do another test on the Z1G for the coal seam methane to simulate a slug. This time, you can see we have the meter angled quite, uh, quite dramatically uh, to show that uh, the, the, the levelness of the meter is not a, a key contributing factor to the meter recovery. You can see we have the, we have the uh, sound speed, there's a signal strength of 60.1 in each meter. The sound speed is 1124.8 feet per second and our velocity right now is zero as we'd expect. We have a countdown timer set for 20 seconds. We expect that we will dunk the meter into the water. We will leave it there for 30 seconds. We will lift the meter out of the water and we expect and we will start the countdown timer. We expect the meter to recover within that 20 second time frame. I'll now turn on the vacuum to simulate flow in the meter. See the meter reads about four feet per second with the vacuum on there. Now I'm going to submerge this into the uh, into the tank of water to simulate a water slug. You can see we have quite a dramatic angle on the uh, on the meter itself. The meter is now fully submerged. The flanges are just barely uh, the top of the flange is just barely above the water. We will leave it there for 30 seconds, simulating a large slug of water into the meter. You can see the uh, meter now gone into error as we'd expect. And what our expectation now is when we lift the meter out of the water, we will start the countdown timer, and within 20 seconds, our expectation is that the meter will recover and start reading zero velocity with a sound speed of about 1125 feet per second. Okay, I will now lift the meter up. The meter is now out of the water. The water is draining out of the meter. You can see the uh, countdown timer is running. The sound speed is coming back down. We're down 10 seconds. It's now reading 1175, and the meter is now reading zero <coughs> feet per second. Our signal strength is 60, and at inside of 20 seconds, we're reading 1124.8, 1124 feet per second, exactly what we'd expect. The meter is actually reading very, very well. That was within 20 seconds on a very, very severe angle. I'll now turn on the vacuum to simulate flow again. four and five feet per second just as it was before. The meter's uh, working uh, absolutely perfect just as we expect. Our signal strength is very, very good. Our sound speed is on 1124, exactly what we expected. We're back down to zero flow. That concludes our Z1G dunk test.